What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for another base review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Secret Desert Base. Now before I take a look at the surrounding area, I want to go in like I normally do because uh, one of the strong points about this base is the actual seed that it is on. But this is an actually decent base, this is by BBB Studios, um, they make really good base mods i've uh, i've really liked a lot of their base mods they do a bunch of other types of add-ons too but i feel they shine mostly on their add-ons um base mobs uh, so let's go ahead and get into this it has a bunch of traps <laughs> so say uh you were getting chased in here and you wanted to stop somebody from following you can i reach that yes i can you open that up now, this tricked me the first time I did that. <laughs> I totally did it and got uh, stuck in the stuck in the uh, lava and died. It's a good, just a good thing. There's a bunch of traps like that hidden all over. I'm not going to show you all of them because I want you kind of do them on your own. But as for a base, this functions really well. It has just about everything you need, and it's not too big so that you get lost. It's kind of all in there. Right when you come in, first area you can go to is this little storage area. It's a quick storage area set up. So if you're coming from a run from outside and you want to quickly store something and head back out, you can. I kind of like that. And things, let's go this way. A nice little kitchen area. Again, most of this is decoration, but you do have some um, furnaces right over here for cooking. There's food that's in here ready to go, like the cakes and everything. So it's usable, but a good chunk of its decoration. But it's still cool because you can actually use these um, actual fire things if you can. All you gotta do is put a switch here, and now we'll open those so you can actually use them. But other than that, this is mostly decorative. Let's keep going this way. This brings us to the garden, one of the areas I really like in this one. It's a hanging garden, uh, and it works just well. I need to make some of these in my survival, uh, one of my survival maps. You've got storage here, you've got composters, crafting tables, and then, I forget, it has a good amount of everything. If we go down to the bottom, we'll see more. It's got the basic stuff here, but it also, as you can see, it is surrounded by um, bamboo, which is good. And there's watermelons pretty much used as decoration all over the base. So if you truly needed it, you could. So I'm going to go back up before heading over to the other side. So I want to get the rest of the upstairs done. As you see, we've got ender chests all over the base as well. So if you wanted to be able to access some of the good stuff you don't want to lose, you can. You don't have to do it from one spot. Definitely supports multiple people using. And this is just a decorative sitting area. Looks cool. Come in here. Now there are potion stations also scattered all over the area. You can use them because... Um, we'll go in here first. Before we go down there. This area kind of has a mixture of all the different crafting stations. You have this really nice enchanting area right over here. Now there's no chest in here with Lampus, but there is a mine entrance in this base. And as you can see, there is a nether wart um, little area here to grow. So you can start potion making potions pretty much right away with that. You just need glass and water but the potion station is pretty much ready to go your enchanting station is ready to go you just need lampus but i don't mind that there's none here normally for these i kind of like for them to have a chest of it but there is a mine here that you can make then you have kind of the smelting area you have one of the quick ones uh, here you've got everything you need for quick crafting anvils 
a lot of them. So you're good to go there. You see, I like this little sitting area. It's nice. And there are beds here, as you can see. One, two, three, four. Now, those are the only beds I could find, but it has them, which is weird because it has those beds there, right? But if you come up here, there are two bedrooms and they don't have beds there. And I'm like, well, why didn't you put the real beds in the actual bedroom? You made like a couch out of beds, <laughs> but you didn't make the beds out of beds. Like this whole little section right here is just cosmetic. There's really not much going on. It's just cosmetic, their rooms. What I recommend is coming in, taking some of this out and making some beds and putting them in here so that you can actually use it as a bedroom. Other than that, they look cool, but they're, they're kind of just for decoration. This whole little section right here, the top section. Everything else has a function, which is what I like. Also, I have yet to run into any um, mobs. They have everything well lit. So nothing spawning on you if you don't want to. Now let's head down to the basement. Went the wrong way, but eh, it's all right. Just circled around. Okay, see over there? That's where we came from. The little garden area. Here we have a nether portal. Plenty of space if you want to make some custom um, setups with uh, other things like <clears throat> storage and everything so you don't have to run back and forth. And here is the entrance to your mine. It's ready to go. You can just start digging into that and call it a day. I like it when they do this. Having a little area designed for you to start your own mine is perfect. So you can go and get the materials that you need that might not be here. It's already set up. They even got track down so that when you start, you can start laying track down as well. So when your mind starts to get really big, you can get back and forth a lot easier. I like it. And I think that is it. As you can see, it's not huge, but it's not that expensive either. I believe this is like a two, three, I think a $3 add on. So. It's not bad. It's definitely a functional base. It's got beds. It's got food. It's got crafting tables. It's got all. It covers the basis of enchanting, um, mining. I like the fact when they add a little mine shaft for you to start right there. It's got everything you need. So it's definitely a function, well put together base. It's small. It's definitely out of the way, and it can support multiple people playing. But what I think is cool is the actual seed. Now, there aren't many of these that I've done that are in such a big uh, mesa biome section. Normally, the it's very small. Um, I'm not sure if they custom put some of this together or not. All I know is this has got to be one of the biggest um, mesa biomes I've seen in one of these custom add-ons. Uh, it goes on for a while. But the cool thing is, it's got a good diversity of the biomes once you get out of it. Uh, if you see, if we got straight ahead, we've got ocean with a little bit of ice. Over here we have mountain, we have dark forest, we've got roof forest. Over there, birch wood. I'm not sure you can see that on the recording. Hang on, let me go further out. Yeah, a little bit of normal desert over there. There's another section over here. Oh yeah, right in front of the jungle because there's actual jungle not too far either. So it's, it's got a really good mixture of the biomes, which I like. You want to see it like that because so, depending on what you want to build, that means you don't have to travel that far. I'm always glad to see jungle not too far from the base because normally that's can be put pretty far away. 
And there's even a little village right here. Now, the only downside about the Mesa biome is villages don't naturally really spawn there a lot. But as you can see, on the outskirts of it, there are a good amount of villages. As you can see, there's a, there's a desert village here squeezed right in between that jungle. Uh, see, there's a damaged portal. Now, there are damaged portals in the Mesa biome, and there's a couple in there there around there too if you're traveling. We'll give you a little bit of startup gear if you if you uh, want. And right in front of that ocean, there's a, a village, as you can see. So it's it's very, very diverse when it comes to the biomes. I think that's a really good seed. But even just if you wanted to build in Mesa, right here, you've, you've got it. So uh, and plenty of nice spots to build, I must say. Like I said, it's definitely put together quite well. I like, I've just never seen one of these paid base add-ons that have such a big uh, Mesa thing. So I would definitely say this is worth it if you're somebody looking for a nice little base uh, add-on that get, covers all the basics and you can get right into your survival run. There's only a few things you really need to do. Other than that, it's good to go. So definitely worth it, 100% worth picking up if you're somebody who likes bases. That's gonna be it for our review. If you guys are liking these, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. That way you don't miss any time we do a base review, as well as any of our other videos covering these awesome add-ons on the marketplace. Now, before I go, don't forget to check out our Spotlight Studio, Everbloom Games. They're currently still our Spotlight Studio. They will be for a while. We've got so much more going on with them. We've got more interviews, more Let's Plays, more reviews, more showcases. So make sure to stay tuned. All right, guys. Average Arcader, out. Mm -hmm.